use a box opener to open the box. You can see the user manual, take it out, and then take out all the items. The edges of some parts may be sharp, mind your hands when taking them out. Get the left side panel, which has the holes on each of its left and right sides. Get 12 screws in for asterisk gate and the left corners. The smaller ones fit the left corners and the left side panel together with four screws. Two screws on each side. Fit the support corner and left guide rail panel, together with two screws, concave surface facing upwards. Fit the left guide rail panel together with the left corners. By using six screws M for asterisk gate, three on each side. Get the right side panel, which has a pin on each of its left and right sides, and get the right corners, each of which has a magnetic lock. Insert the pins of the right side panel into the holes in the right corners. And then place the fixing plate between the two right corners. Rotate them 90 degrees to lay the right side panel on the desk, so that you can tighten the screws more easily. Fit the fixing plate and the right corners together, by using screws M3 asterisk 6, two on each side. Fit the support corner and right guide rail panel together, like the left structure. Fit the support corner and right guide rail panel together. and then fit the right guide rail panel together with the right corners by using screws. The right structure is complete, with a storage space that can be opened. Observe the two door panels. The front door panel is slightly wider than the rear one. Insert the pins on the door panels into the holes in the left and right corners. Place the fixing plates between the left and right structures and use screws to fit them together. Close the door panels. Fit the rear cover panel on the guide rail panels. With the raised edges facing upwards. The assembly is complete. Align the feet of x P2 with the corners, and place it on the riser base. No, at least the people are needed to lift x P2. Do not hold the machine on the corners when lifting it, so that you don't hurt your hands when placing it on the riser base. Use the tape measure to measure material thickness, and place the base plate upside down at the corresponding level. Alternatively, you can use a ruler to measure the thickness and determine the base plate placement level as described in the table. Remove all the slats before processing. You can keep the slats in the storage space on the right of the riser base. Place the base plate upside down at level 1. 
Open the door panels and then place your material. the tape measure to measure material thickness and place the base plate right side up at the corresponding level. Alternatively, you can use a ruler to measure the thickness and determine the base plate placement level as described in the table. Place the base plate at level 1. And then place your material on the base plate. Engraving completed. Use the tape measure to measure material thickness and determine the roller and placement level based on the RA to roller level and riser base level scales. Alternatively, you can use a ruler to measure the diameter and determine the base plate placement level as described in the table. Place the base plate at level 2 and set the adjustable roller to level C. Place the rotary attachment in the center of the working area. Place the support module. And use the MIDI level to observe whether the support module is properly set. Adjust the height of the support module until the bubble in the MIDI level stays in the middle. Insert the connection cable into the extension port of XTool P2 and tighten the connector. Start processing. 